What's up everyone? In this video I'll be showing you the results from killing Salah in the Twisted 1000 times. So without further ado, let's get right into it, starting with the loot. And as you can see for this one, it comes out to almost 2.7 mil in total, with the most important items by far being the 80 sinister keys which make up a bulk of the profit. The other thing he drops is basically these standard Chaos Druid items, which is basically a bunch of herbs and a few secondaries as well. And of those, the major item that he drops is obviously Ranar Weeds as they're the most expensive. But now that you've seen all of the loot, let's get into the stats. To start things off, it took us 9 hours in total to get these 1000 kills, and in that time we managed to get 211k magic experience, which means that we got 23.5k magic experience per hour. When you consider the fact that the only way of damaging Salah in the Twisted is to use a strike spell, getting almost 24k magic experience per hour really isn't that bad, which means that this is actually a fairly decent early game magic training method. This is bolstered by the fact that the supply cost was only 25k, which means that our actual supply cost per hour came out to around only 3k, which even one of the most newbiest member players will usually be able to afford quite easily. Finally, our overall profit came out to 2.64 mil, which when rounded down means we made 293k profit per hour here, which again solidifies this as an early game money making method. And the nice thing about this profit is that most of it is drawn from the Sinister Keys, which are a common drop with a 1 in 13 drop chance. And since the value of Sinister Keys are intrinsically tied to the value of high level herbs that never really seem to decrease in price that much, it essentially guarantees this as a permanent, easy money making method for low level players. In terms of the method, one of the key things to note is that Salah in the Twisted is surprisingly accurate considering he is a very low level monster. But that doesn't mean you can't actually camp him indefinitely if you're a low level, because all you have to do is lure him down the corridor and he can't go past a certain point which basically means you'll get a bunch of free hits in and he'll die fairly quickly. Given each magical strike spell will do a guaranteed amount of damage to him scaling up to 12 with fire strike, you will basically always 6 hit him using fire strike, irregardless of your combat level or your magic level. Again though, that's providing you don't splash. And the even better news though for low level players is that Salah in the Twisted doesn't have much magical defence either, so even for a low level player, splashing will be quite rare. All of this basically means that even if you're a totally new player with only around 20 magic, you can very easily camp this boss for hours at a time without taking a single point of damage. Although if you're a higher level who's slightly more lazy like me, you may choose to tank the damage instead and bring some food. The boss is a bit out of the way in the Yanil's Agility Dungeon though, so unless you have 82 thieving for the quick shortcut, I would recommend simply kiting the boss around. The only other thing to really mention about this method though is that it is a bit annoying that you have to hop worlds between each kill. You can choose to kill the Chaos Druids in between each kill since there are a few in the room, but personally I think it's more worth it to just focus on Salah in the Twisted, especially if you're going to come all the way down here. So the main downside of Salah in the Twisted is it isn't the most fun boss in the game to do or farm, because you do have to hop worlds about every 30 seconds. But if you can get past that major flaw, it's actually a really decent method for low level players to be training their magic up very consistently, and while making a tidy profit to boot. But with that covered, that is it for the findings of this video, so I do hope you enjoyed. So that's it from me, hope you're all having a wonderful day as always, and I'll be seeing you all next time. Bye guys!